You know, Texas Tech's Wind Institute is leading the nation in studying these dangerous and sometimes deadly tornadoes. Yeah, they simulate these types of tornadoes to get a better understanding and hopefully help save lives in the future. KMAX Ryan Chandler got a look at what these scientists are doing. Well, that's right. The research Texas Tech contributes on wind and severe weather leads the field around the world. And I toured their huge facility just west of town today. And tonight we get a first-hand look into the work that they do to help us weather the worst of these storms. Air cannons, wind tunnels, and a massive tornado-making machine. Helping the real-life storm chasers at Texas Tech's National Wind Institute lead research nationwide. It takes a lot of people and, and a fair amount of time and efforts, but it's worth it because we, we're just trying to understand severe weather as best as we can. Uh, over here we have the debris impact facility where we actually shoot uh, two by fours into various structures to assess the type of damage uh, that, it, that is produced. We, a wind tunnel over here, this is where we actually we put little mock structures in there and, and allow the wind to blow over top of them. Okay, so this is the, the vortex chamber. Uh, so by adjusting the fan speed and adjusting the louvers here, we can get pretty much any type of vortex uh, simulated. So you, you make mini tornadoes in there? Yeah, of. yeah, we make uh, mini tornadoes that we can actually stand in and, uh, and observe. Yep. You, ever, you ever stood in one? And yes, I have in this very <laughs> chamber a number what, of times. So. What's that experience like? Oh, it's, it's, it's nice. I, I'd prefer the uh, tornado in the chamber versus the one uh, out in the field probably if I'm going but when a tornado is out in the field they're right there with it uh, I've been pretty close to to some tornadoes in the field as you might imagine uh, we try to always be safe of course and and stay a, a fair distance away sometimes the atmosphere has a has a curveball for us and we have to react to that after all if we were perfect at predicting the storm I wouldn't be doing this job so. <laughs> using high tech and high winds to help save lives. The event from last Friday was terrible, uh, but it really motivates the type of work that we do here. The damage assessment's ongoing right now for those events that occurred in Kentucky last Friday, uh, but what we have found so far is that some of the buildings weren't up to the published codes. The type of research we do here helps uh, inform those codes so that, that, uh, that we can build better structures, stronger structures to withstand not just the intensity of the winds, but also the impact of the debris. It's basically you know airborne missiles that we're picking up and just throwing all over the place. It's a multifaceted problem when we talk about severe thunderstorms. Uh, part of that is understanding the phenomenon itself, understanding what makes the storm click, uh, how we can forecast it better, but also how we can improve our resiliency. They also emphasize that those storms hitting Kentucky and others last week were very abnormal outside of both the geography and the type of the time of year that we typically see these strong tornadoes. Tornado season begins for us in West Texas this May.